Today we're going to talk about uh, relating fractions to decimals. We've been talking about decimals all week long, and we're going to continue with that this week. Now, decimals and fractions are different ways of writing the same number. If you can name the fraction, you can also determine the decimal equivalent. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. It's actually pretty easy. And I also want you to keep in mind that um, fractions do have equivalents. So even though you can name decimals when you have hundreds, tens, and thousands of a fraction, you will also have different fractions that are equivalent to decimals. And I'll show you that at the very end. So we start off with a fraction here. We have one tenth of a whole shaded. We say this that it is one tenth. Now to write this in decimal form, I just have to remember my decimal place value. I have ones, tenths, hundreds, and thousands. And so I would write one tenth as zero decimal one. And that is one tenth. Another example is 48 hundredths. It's a little bit hard to see, but this is 48 hundredths. I write that as a fraction as 48 over 100. I say this fraction as 48 hundredths. And I write this in decimal form as 0 decimal 4 8. And that's 48 hundredths. So let's look at another example here. Here I have a decimal model, and I have 6 out of 10 parts that are shaded. So I have 6 tenths that are shaded. So to write this as a decimal, I would write 0 decimal 6. This is my tenths place. And now to simplify this fraction, I'm going to find common uh, multiples of 6 and 10. Well, they're both even numbers, so let's divide this by 2 and see what we get. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. That gives us 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 6 tenths, which is the same as 0 0.6. And I can't simplify 3 fifths any smaller. That's the lowest form it can get. Our other example here, we have 55 hundredths shaded. I would write this as a decimal is 0 0.55. Now I know that 55 and 100 are both products of 5, so I'll divide both of these by 5. And that gives me 55 divided by 5 is 11. 100 divided by 5 is 20. That gives me 11 20, or 11 over 20. This fraction is in simplest form. I can't divide or multiply this any further. So 11 over 20 is the same as 55 hundredths and 55 hundredths is the same as 0 0.55 as a fraction. In our last example, we have 18 out of 1,000 shaded, or 18 thousandths. I write this as 0, decimal 0, 1, 8, 18 thousandths. Again, I'm going to divide this by 2 because it's an even number. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. This is my simplest fraction. So 9 over 500 is the same as 18 thousandths, and that's the same as 0 decimal 0, 1, 8. And that is a quick lesson on how to relate decimals to fractions.